Well, uh, I, I'm going to have to talk about corn because once again, this one was a surprise and unfortunately it was a bad su surprise for the producers to try to put a little bit more of a, 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 a lighthearted spin on things. It was kind of a Britney Spears report. You know, oops, they did it again, right? The USDA came in with more corn than we thought we had. More production, more yield, more stocks. Those are the types of things as a producer you don't want to hear. And you know, having said that, we talked to a lot of them on our desk. And when most of the world is looking to do one thing or the herd is going one way, uh, and, a lot, and the herd definitely this time around was definitely bullish. The USDA is going to come through. We're going to get some bullish numbers. We're going to have less of everything. Um, a lot of times that gives us a reason to be concerned, and, and we had reason to be concerned again, because instead of giving us a lot less of everything, the USDA gave us a lot more of everything, and that's a problem. So we've seen a double-digit sell-off today. Uh, corn anywhere, you know, going into the close down about 13, 14 cents. Um, that's not good, obviously. That's going to hurt. Again, when we see a lot of the trade, on one side of the boat, a lot of times we kind of get punished because we haven't really had more of a balanced point of view. And I'm not saying the USDA is right or wrong, and a lot of, a lot of folks will kind of argue about what their numbers are and how they come up with them. But you know what? It's the number that we get, and older traders will tell you that. You have to trade what you get. You can't trade what you think. And so the numbers are the data. The data is the hard evidence. The hard evidence is what we have to make our minds on. And going forward, the hard evidence tells us right now there's more corn than we thought. So we're, we're, we're going to need more than just snow on Montana, which was a reason that we saw some of the run-up just as of late to kind of keep this contract uh, in the bullish form. And it's going to be a, a while here, I think. We might see some uh, capitulation. We might see some producers finally take some, some stock off the table and sell some things because, again, you know, we, we really start to get to the finalities of things here when we get towards the end of the year and what these USDA reports are giving us. And I think that you could slowly but surely see, uh, again, that word capitulation comes up where you've just got farmers saying, okay, these are the numbers. These are the numbers I have to trade. That's something that I'm going to have to go with. So keep all that in mind. But once again, we got surprised. We got surprised with more than we thought we had, bigger supplies. Uh, and that's going to drive the market lower, and it did today, double digits. Uh, and in doing so, we might see some a little, you know, check and see if we see some follow through. Because if we do see some follow through, that's going to be from the farmers selling and some of those uh, longs in there giving up after the recent rallies that we've had.